thanks to Brilliant for supporting my channel. Hi, ChatGPT, I am making a YouTube video about how you work, and I was wondering whether you would mind explaining how you generate text for my video. Of course. I am a machine learning model called GPT, Generative Pre-Training Transformer, that uses deep learning techniques to generate human-like text. The model is trained on a large dataset of text and learns patterns and structures in the language. When generating text, the model takes a prompt as input and uses the patterns and structures it learned during training to generate text that is similar to the input. The generated text is not a direct copy of the input, but rather a continuation or a variation of the input. The model uses a technique called sampling to generate text, which means that it selects the next word from a probability distribution of all the words it has seen in the training data. So the process is this. The model takes a prompt as input. The model uses the patterns and structures learned during training to generate text that is similar to the input. The model uses sampling to select the next word from a probability distribution of all the words it has seen in the training data. I hope this helps you to understand how I work. It does, and could you also explain how transformer models work and why they perform better when it comes to language modeling than other architectures? Sure. A transformer model is a type of neural network architecture that was introduced in a 2017 paper by Google researchers. It is particularly well-suited for language modeling tasks such as natural language understanding, machine translation, and text generation. One of the key innovations of the transformer model is the attention mechanism. Attention allows the model to weigh the importance of different parts of the input when making predictions. This is in contrast to traditional neural networks, which process the entire input as a single unit. Tension allows the model to focus on relevant parts of the input and ignore irrelevant parts, which improves its ability to handle long-term dependencies and understand the context of the input. Another key innovation of the transformer model is the use of self-attention. Self-attention allows the model to weigh the importance of different parts of the input when making predictions about a specific part of the input. This allows the model to understand the relationships between different parts of the input, which improves its ability to understand the context of the input. Finally, the transformer model's architecture is based on the encoder-decoder architecture, where the encoder reads the entire input and the decoder generates the output. This allows the model to generate output that is based on the entire input, instead of generating output word by word. The transformer model's ability to weigh the importance of different parts of the input and understand the relationships between different parts of the input, as well as its ability to generate output based on the entire input, makes it well-suited for language modeling tasks, and that's why it performs better than other architectures. Thanks so much. Last question. Could you outline the risks and considerations that people should keep in mind when using ChatGPT? Certainly. There are several risks and considerations to keep in mind when using a model like me, GPT. Bias. The training data used to train a model like me can contain biases, which can be reflected in the generated text. It is important to be aware of these biases and take steps to mitigate them, such as fine-tuning the model on a diverse set of data. Misuse. GPT models like mine can be used to generate text that is designed to mislead or deceive. It is important to be aware of this risk and take steps to prevent misuse, such as fact-checking the generated text. Privacy. GPT models like mine can be used to generate text that reveals sensitive information about individuals. It is important to be aware of this risk and take steps to protect privacy, such as anonymizing the input data. Safety. GPT models like mine can be used to generate text that is harmful or offensive. It is important to be aware of this risk and take steps to ensure safety, such as moderating the generated text. Limitations GPT models like mine are not perfect and have their own limitations. They can make errors or generate text that is nonsensical. It's important to keep in mind that the generated text is not always correct, accurate, or reliable. It's important to remember that GPT models like me are powerful tools, but they should be used with caution and a critical eye. It's always a good idea to verify the information generated by GPT and not to use it in a way that could cause harm or to make important decisions. Great, this is all super helpful for my video. This video will be sponsored by Brilliant, a STEM learning platform that offers courses on topics including neural networks, cryptography, and astrophysics. Can you give me a short paragraph explaining why my viewers should check out Brilliant and what they might be able to get out of signing up? 
absolutely. Brilliant is a great resource for anyone interested in learning more about STEM topics. Their courses on neural networks, cryptography, and astrophysics are a great way to deepen your understanding of these subjects and gain new skills. By signing up for Brilliant, you will get access to interactive and engaging course materials, quizzes, and will join a community of like-minded individuals who are also passionate about learning. The platform offers a variety of problem sets and interactive challenges that allow users to test and apply their knowledge, which is a great way to solidify and retain the concepts learned. All right, I'll take over for speak for ChatGPT, but personally I've been taking their astrophysics course during the downtime of my clinical immersions and it's been super interesting to learn how the universe works from a scientific perspective. So to get started for free, go to brilliant.org slash Jordan and the first 200 people to use that link will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. Otherwise, if you want to see other ChatGPT videos, definitely let me know what you'd be interested in seeing in the comments. I thought this would be a cool way to do it. and. As a note that I didn't include up front, I did fact check everything that uh, ChatGPT said, so everything that it's saying is factually correct. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.